Guess you're as surprised as anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great surprise. Yeah, I yeah. couldn't imagine that. So. Yeah. And that was a surprise meeting with soon-to-be Bishop Vito Merzuski. Uh, you never know who you're going to meet in the streets of Brooklyn, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was great excitement this morning because Bishop Vito and also Bishop James Massa mm -hmm. have been named auxiliary bishops here in the Diocese of Brooklyn. Now explain to me, what is an auxiliary bishop? Well, auxiliary bishop is kind of like uh, the you know the bishop of Brooklyn's right hand man. So they they represent the bishop at many different functions. Mm -hmm. And since we have 1.5 million Catholics in this diocese, he needs a lot of help. The leader of the diocese of Brooklyn, Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio, introduces the bishops to be to the entire city. The bishop has been searching for two new auxiliaries for months. He pulled the diocese and then sent candidates to Rome. Pope Francis himself picked Father Massa and Father Merzewski. There is scrutinies sent out to the diocese, priests, lay people about them, so they've tried to find information that would be uh, for, in their favor or against them. So they passed that uh, test and they went to the LDC. It took uh, quite a bit of time, but we're happy that it's over. And we got two good men, correct? That's right. Very good. Very capable. Very hard-working men. Father Merzewski was born in Poland and is the pastor of Holy Cross Parish. Bishop DiMarzio says that he will help to serve the 90,000 Polish-born Catholics in the diocese, in addition to normal auxiliary duties. Father Massa is currently serving as moderator of the Curia, a role that often involves difficult matters, as he helps Bishop DiMarzio manage all the Catholics in the diocese. Having a bishop as the moderator, I think, will help a lot. Uh, sometimes it's not easy to get points across, but usually bishops have a little bit more clout than others to get the, the issue clear. Both bishop-elects were notified of Pope Francis' decision by telephone. The Pope's ambassador to the United States, also known as the Papal Nuncio, is Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano. Father Massa was in an important meeting when the Nuncio's assistant called and assumed that the call was about an earlier conversation with Archbishop Vigano. I thought this was a question, a follow-up question, so I said, can you take a message? <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine Salazar, who oversees the support staff on the second floor, immediately whisked into the room and said, you need to take this call. <laughs> and so, Archbishop Vigano personally called Father Merzewski, but when the parish secretary answered, he told her that it was Monsignor Vigano calling. She said, uh, Monsignor Vigano calls you. <laughs> Monsignor Vigano, I, I know that the Apostolic Nuncio's name is Vigano, but uh, <laughs> Monsignor Vigano, I don't know the man. So then I said, yes. Are you a canon Witold Mrozewski? Yes, I am. So I, I'd like to inform you that Holy Father appointed you an auxiliary bishop of Brooklyn. He made it me speechless. <laughs> and finally, finally, I said, OK, uh, Archbishop, um, thank you so much for this information. And, <laughs> and, and, and he said, uh, do, do you accept? That appointment. Uh, 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 after a reflection, I said, Yes, I do. <laughs> so, as you can see, they're both very down to earth, very humble guys, hand picked by Pope Francis. The, you know, these two men are very much in line with the kinds of men that are being made bishops by Pope Francis. Mm -hmm. Very pastoral men, uh, they're very much at ease among people, uh -huh. and they're going to be uh, they're going to be a lot of fun to be with and to watch the next few years. Absolutely, and they'll be great service to us here in the Diocese of Brooklyn. We look forward to their ordination on July 20th. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh. And I'm Ed Wilkinson.